Welcome Libra Scorpio to your end of the month reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you're friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Straight into this. And looking for your energy, what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Have the King of Cups in reverse, showing that emotional. Could be feeling like you're wearing your heart on your sleeve at this time. Um, it feels like somebody has got you down in your emotions. Um, not really doing real good over here. It feels like they might be kind of power playing you. Feeling like you're kind of, I don't know, it just feels like unpredictable emotions at this time. Maybe play, somebody is playing with your heartstrings. I, Kind of seeing a violin over here, you know, playing the heart strings over here, playing around with your emotions. Okay, let's see what's going on. Clarifying on the King of Cups. This card won't only clarify on the King of Cups, but the entire reading. Mental conflict. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so now we have emotional mental conflict. So, yeah, I definitely got that going on over here. And it could be that they're playing with your heartstrings and keeping your emotions kind of wishy-washy all over the place. And it's keeping you in mental conflict as well. So definitely have that emotional mental going on. Getting you confused with the mental conflict. And getting straight into the situation. Situation is taking place in the present, the recent past, and the near future. Trying to keep your heart's passions ignited. Standing your ground is in reverse in the recent past and third eye chakra. With the standing your ground in reverse, it's like the seven of wands upside down. I mean, that's literally showing that somebody might be trying to put you on a pedestal in the recent past. This is how you got to this emotional, um, it just feels like playing with my heartstrings. Um, just feels like maybe they're pulling you in all kinds of different directions as well. Um, Maybe you're, somebody is putting too many expectations on you to get this done, do this, do that, and you just couldn't do it all. Caused you to get a little upset and then caused some mental conflict because we have the mental conflict coming up. And remember, it's the, for everything. We're at least over here, hopefully, with the third eye chakra saying, I can see, hopefully that will go upside down, getting you out of that mental conflict. But with the stand your ground over here, it's like being pulled in all different directions. You can't even stand. Um, it just feels like there's a lot of expectations on your shoulders to get things done over here, Libra Scorpio, that you just feel you cannot get done. Um, you don't have time to be defensive. You're running all over the place. Confused. Maybe you're even confused or like, um, you could do that yourself. Why are you making me do that? Um, let's see what's going on. Page of Swords. There's that eight of, there's that mental conflict coming up too. Getting you trapped in a bubble of confusion. Getting your anxieties going. Getting you trapped. Not knowing where to go. Um, feeling like they've got you almost maybe even uh, backtracking on a situation. Making you go backwards instead of forwards. With the Page of Wands, there is a disloyalty going on. It could be through an Aries or a Sagittarius, and you feel like they're being disloyal to you by pulling you in all these different directions or putting you on a pedestal. Maybe you had done something wrong in the past, and they won't let it go. Um, and, you know, it's like, hey, nobody's perfect, but, you know, they won't let that go. So, you know, they just keep bringing it up. Um, take it how it resonates. It's going to be different for everybody. But definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius, and it just feels like whatever this relationship it is, uh, could be any relationship, could be work, love, family, friendship, whatever it is, could even be you being too hard on yourself. Um, however it is, though, it feels like instead of going forwards, you're definitely going backwards. You're going down the ladder. It could be even the relationship is falling back down the ladder. 
meaning we were fighting once before and now here it starts again right when I thought it was getting good it's backtracking so however it is it does feel like there is a lot of frustration and a lot of discord um, you might even feel like you're giving up over here with the eight of swords I mean you have your eight of swords you might even be like you know what there's too much just loyalty um, you know they're pulling me in all different directions it's not going the way it's supposed to go um, maybe you're just you know having those feelings or thoughts actually thoughts of giving up it could be feelings though too I mean your feelings are right there right thoughts and feelings of giving up passions ignited in the in the present right now um, it's almost like you're trying to get your passions ignited clarify on the passions ignited We have the Two of Swords, the King of Wands. Ugh, whoever is dealing with somebody, definitely are dealing, we're going to say Sagittarius. Because that's Sag, Sag, Sag. So we're just going to say Sag. Um, this is you over here, though, with your passions ignited with this card here, um, more than likely. Um, if it's reversed, then turn it around, right? Um, but for now, we're going to say it's you. Um, this is a beautiful Libra card right here saying that your Libra side is in, in here saying, I'm using my intuition to get to my passions, desires. I'm trying to open up my heart. I'm trying to keep this going. Um, I'm trying to figure out which direction to keep this going. How do I keep this? It feels more like kind of like a, how do I keep the passions ignited for this person? I'm going to use my intuition. I'm really trying to balance it over here. I see this two over here where you're really trying to balance the situation out in your mind. I'm really trying to figure out which direction to go with this Sagittarius who is manipulating a situation. It feels like they are pulling you around, right? Trying to keep yourself with self-assurance over here. It's like, you know, you might not have all the details of how to get to the, your heart's desire, but you're trying really hard. Um, it's just going to be hard because it does feel like they're messing with your emotions. It feels like they do have you all over the place emotionally. Um, I think the unpredictability of the King of Cups really, friends, is the more I look at this reading, is uh, is really with this heart. Of course, we know it's with the passion ignited, but it's really about this Two of Swords. It's the unpredictability of where the relationship is going, how this is going to play out, um, and I think that's why you're trying to keep your intuition very strong because there's a feeling within you. There is, it's unpredictable, especially with this energy here. Right. You got the, you got the, excuse me, the king of wands upside down. You know, this is a manipulating, that's also pre-calculating in its own way. You know, it's intolerant. Um, it's, it very impatient too like they like I said because it feels like they're pulling you in all these different directions and you're saying I can't do this but I'm trying and they're being very impatient about it so we can kind of feel that in the in the recent past over here so I feel like they're kind of snappy right and it just feels like it's very unpredictable because you don't know if your mate is going to be snappy and want to you know manipulate a situation um <laughs> you know, or is he just going to hide away, become a chameleon and not talk to you? And it's like, maybe they only talk to you when they feel like they need something done. And it's kind of shifty. It's kind of unusual. It's kind of sus over here, right? I don't know. You got the ace of wands over here saying, well, they want a reconciliation. You're over here wondering if you should have, you know, I don't even know if it's so much that they want a reconciliation as it is you're thinking about whether or not you should reconciliate with them for your heart's desire. Should I just ignore it and let them be a little shifty over here? Um, you know, or should I, you know, go the other way? What should I do? Because it does feel like you do want the Ace of Wands, but it does feel like you're just not really sure because it's too unpredictable about how they're going to act. You know that if they're acting like this, you know, putting you on a pedestal, um, accusing you of this and that, um, snapping at you to tell you what to do, 
uh, maybe manipulating the situation, however it is, or keeping you in mental conflict, you know? And it's almost like, well, I still have love for you, but I'm just not sure if I should give you the Ace of Wands. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, because you just still feel like there could be some hope left deep within the relationship. Maybe they've only been here and like for a while. There is this feeling of not moving away from them um, and not taking on the new directions just yet. Maybe you're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. They are acting a little immature. Well, we see immature twice. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're just foot stomping around and you're like, you're just acting like a big baby right now. I'm just going to wait um, and see, you know, time will tell when you, you know, stop acting like a big baby. Um, third, you have the third eye chakra over here. So it just feels like in the present right now, they're just still kind of acting very childish and very immature about the situation. I think more than anything, what you're doing, Libra Scorpio, is just kind of hiding out from them. Um, but like I said, for a lot of you, it doesn't really matter in a lot of ways because they're just kind of hiding out anyways as well. Um, the third eye chakra is saying, I can see. I see clearly now exactly what's going on with the passions to ignited. Now you got the same card twice. So it's doing a roll around. Could be in areas that you're dealing with. Um, it's like I can clearly see where my heart's desire is now, what's going on within this house, what's going on within the stability of this love, this relationship. Um, yeah, and now you're noticing that the Two of Cups is not uniting. Um, it feels like they have kind of separated themselves from you, that it's not coming together the way you want it to come together. Um, it's definitely feels like the relationship is being pulled apart. Um, God, I just, like a sweater unraveling. I just see it like you just keep, they just keep pulling it. They just keep pulling the sweater and the yarn just, you're going to end up having a yarn ball in a minute. It just does not feel like it's coming together at all. Just too far apart with the temperance over here. There's just too much disharmony and you're clearly seeing the disharmony within, it could be the homestead itself with the, um, Four of Wands over here because I'm really seeing a house. Um, so it's definitely too too much havoc within the house. Not enough passion um, and, or the relationship itself. But it almost feels like you wanted the doors to open. Well, like, you know, it shows that over there. But there, the disharmony is just not coming together. In the near future, it's showing it's not the right time for this to come together. It's going to just keep pulling itself apart. There's just not enough recognition over here. They're just not recognizing you enough. Um, I just think that they're kind of in their own world, doing whatever they're doing. Maybe they're overworked and they don't want to be talked to. Maybe they're mistrusting. But there's definitely something about mistrusting or overworked. And we have the three over here, which is saying they're more worried about something else going on within their life than the relationship itself. So it could be work itself. And you know that, right? Three again. So it definitely could be overworked. Um, maybe they work in a job that they just hate and then they bring the frustrations home. Maybe they're in a third party situation. Maybe they are cheating too. I'm going to, you know, because I'll get some of these messages are like, nope, cheating. Uh, we can't pull it back together because they either were cheating in the past and it never brought itself back together or something of this nature. You know, for some of you, maybe they cheated and you tried to bring it back together and it never came back together the way it was supposed to come together. They just were mistrusting and just everything fell apart and it never got back to the way it was supposed to be. You know, second chances sometimes. Uh, they just don't work, right? It's like you already separated so much because of the mistrust and the and the uh, dis oh, disloyalty. Look at that. And because of the disloyalty, that it would be hard to trust them again. Even though you might feel like you love this person, they do have your heart's desire. Um, it just doesn't work, right? So that could be for somebody. Um, but otherwise, I do see a lot of just a disharmony. So whatever your situation is, you already know what, what it is, what was going on in the past that brought this together. 
over here. It just feels like they're really snippety and really snappity right now. Um, and like I said, when they're not snippety and snappity, they're freaking hiding. You know, it's like, where'd you go, right? Four of coins in reverse. Not going to beg for that back. <clears throat> I don't know. You know, it's almost like it's just let it go because there's nothing that you're going to be able to hold on to. It's almost like it's closed. It's closed session. It might make you feel like you're an outcast to this work, to this other person, to your their friends, to their family. However, it is that there's a lot of loss, a lot of outcast, a lot of closed doors that are not opening for you. It could even be closed communication. Um, and there's just too many, maybe even disagreements about money in itself. Maybe that's why they overwork themselves because maybe this has everything to do with a money issue. Um, and there's just not enough resources, enough money. And you guys could be just fighting literally about, uh, money and this could end up, you know, undergoing a divorce <clears throat> because that's a card of divorce. So, um, you might be thinking about a divorce in the near future. Um, because it's just unhinged, literally just unhinged. It's not coming back together. So take it how it resonates. I just don't really see it, you know, so there could be definite, um, thoughts of divorce coming out over here. Just a, and if it's not a divorce, it's just a lot of argument. It's a lot of arguing coming in the near future, no matter what, right? Because, I, like, if you guys aren't married, then it's a lot of arguing. <clears throat> and for the angel cards, oh, we're using angel romance cards. Let's see what Spirit has to say about the angel romance cards for you. Best message for Libra Scorpios. Person, the Sagittarius Aries is what I'm seeing more than anything. Could be anybody. It doesn't have to be that sign. What do we have here for them? Remember, pay attention to the red flags. For your person, it's let go of control issues. I think that's for both of you. Could be a situation uh, for both of you. Um, okay. And anything else? Whoa, what's that? Give your love a chance is upside down and the playfulness is upside down. Well, I see that no matter what. And new love is upside down. I see that though, only for the fact that um, I don't see this person as playful as ever. And the reason I think that the playfulness card is really coming out, and a lot of you might agree, is because maybe this relationship was super flirty, super uh, playful at one time, and it is just completely dissipated. It is, you know, it is not... And it feels like it was like the new love, right? The puppy love. It could have had this puppy love. I keep seeing puppy love, this puppy love kind of thing um, going on. Um, so I definitely do see that it's no longer that way. That has completely dissipated. But like I said, it feels like you're still trying to hang on to that passions ignited as much as possible, but it's just hard. And I think it's just because your person really needs to let go of their control um, issues. Because I just feel like allow the situation to unfold naturally. And maybe that's for you as well. Maybe you need to also let go of a little bit of the control um, from this person trying to hold and grasp so tight. Um, we kind of see that too over here with the disagreements. But if we were to see it this way, it would be like really holding on tight, right? but it just could cause a little more disagreements. <laughs> okay. And I would say that the most important one here for you, Libra Scorpio, is going to be the first one that came out is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and aren't they? They definitely are. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.